Greetings and welcome to SmartwatchTix.com. Got some breaking news for you coming out of Google concerning Fitbit. You know, Google purchased Fitbit and Fitbit. Many of the models have just been updated and yours should be shortly to be able to detect irregular rhythm. That's right, heart rate rhythm that is irregular. You will be able to receive notifications on your phone if that shows up and happens on your watch. However, uh, there's a couple of caveats to it. It's not available if you have been diagnosed with AFib. That's atrial fibrillation. What? Why? Uh, let's lock it that. First of all, irregular heart rhythms can affect health. You will get notifications if we've seen signs of an irregular rhythm that may be AFib. It's been validated in a clinical study designed to check AFib and, uh, and irregular heart rhythm specifically. It's easy to use. They simply collect your heart rhythm data in the background. And you just sit and watch for a notifications. And if you receive a notifications, consider... We'll show you the rest of it in a minute. But first, does the, the, the hidden information. Fitbit can look, like, uh, look for signs of AFib which is a common type of irregular heart rhythm that benefits from early diagnosis and treatment. Seeking proper care, including early diagnosis and treatment, can lower your risk for complications like stroke. However, if you have a prior diagnosis of AFib, or if you're under the age of 22, this feature is not available for you. It's not available for you if you have been diagnosed with AFib but it's designed to detect signs of AFib. Now from your uh, app itself, you may get this notification. It comes up in pink and it says set up now so that you can go in there and then all of your other data will show from there. So here's what happens. When you say, okay, let's set this thing up, it first verifies your eligibility and it again tells you if you've had a prior diagnosis or are under age 22. Uh, 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 uh. So it prompts you with your birth date that you are registered with, with the option of changing it, just in case you forgot your actual birthday. And then it asks you, have you ever been diagnosed with AFib? Yes or no? And you have to choose one of those. And you and your doctor know the answer to that, right? It's not been tested on people with a cardiac pacemaker or implanted defibrillator. If you have one of those devices, consult your doctor before using this feature, okay? It cannot detect heart attack, blood clots, stroke, or other conditions. If you think you're having a medical emergency, call emergency services. So if you meet the criteria, birth date, and no diagnosis, and hit next, you can get in. Ah, uh, but... Not just yet. Again, you got to talk about privacy. There's an important note here. Irregular rhythm notifications is using your data to check for signs of AFib. How do they use your information? Well, they collect your heart rhythm data and your motion data. And that is used in accordance with our policies, and that's all scrollable. By using this feature, you authorize Fitbit to use your data as described above in the Fitbit privacy policy. Guys, think about it for a second. If you have AFib, you already know it, you can't use this feature. They're looking for people who have not been diagnosed to inform them that they're detecting an irregular uh, heart rate of some sort and recommending you contact your doctor, who then will possibly put you on some sort of a uh, Improvement plan, which may include meds that you get from pharmaceuticals, which are already probably being prescribed to people who already have AFib. And uh, there's an advertising opportunity here. Uh, if uh, your data collected properly and guided through presenting of ads on YouTube and Facebook and your TV shows start showing up with notifications of uh, certain medications that might be applicable to a condition called AFib. I'm just saying they're collecting your data and you're giving them permission. 
in order for them to assess whether or not you may have AFib. Here's how it works. Okay, they collect the data. You wear the device, especially to sleep. You open the Fitbit app each day and sync your data, and you just sit back and watch for a notification. In the meantime, your data is going through Fitbit into Google, being assessed and analyzed, and you gave them permission. What do you do if you receive a notification? Well, here we go. Getting a notification means that they saw an irregular rhythm that may be AFib. Talk to your health care provider. That's great that that's the first advice is you should always talk to your doctor, your medical professional, your health care provider and say, hey, my watch told me I should talk to you. Don't change your medication or any health regime. That's between you and your doctor and you don't want to modify any of that until you go over your situation and uh, both of you agree on what you should be doing, okay? Turn on the feature, you hit that button after you've seen all this, and now your watch, sitting there silently collecting that data in the background, especially when you sleep, will be sending it to Google for assessment and notification if they see something uh, that is irregular. So, four things to note. If you don't get a notification, it's possible you may still have AFib. They're not always looking for it. We can't notify of all the incidences of irregular heart rhythm that may be AFib. Some people with AFib don't experience any symptoms at all. And of course, that wouldn't show up. For those that do, common symptoms are these things like palpations, chest pains, fainting or feeling faint. Fitbit can't check for heart attack, stroke, or other conditions. It's really only for this one thing, especially with all the clinical tests that they've done. And finally, always talk to a healthcare provider about your notifications. This feature cannot diagnose AFib. It can let you know if your heart rhythms show possible signs of it. Do not change your medication. And that's it. Got it? And you're on your way. You remember that opening screen I showed you? We talked about this. It said, watch for a notification. Consider discussing it with a healthcare provider. Here's the rest of it. What is AFib? It explains about that. What are possible symptoms? And it gives you a source that's clickable. And then you can view your notifications if you have any. After you're registered, this is how you would check it to see if you've had any. And what does that look like? Like this. You haven't received a notification. Mm-hmm. Last analyzed date. More about AFib. Again, over and over, there are some scrollable visual resources here, frequently asked questions, how to prepare for an appointment. Got some screenshots of some of that. Your medical uh, feature, our proprietary algorithm has been tested in a clinical study and it can talk to you about that. And then it gives you basic instructions for use that it's not a replacement for medical diagnosis or treatment. Here's what they recommend if you do get a notification that you may have AFib, or at least the indication of it. How do you prepare for your appointment? Again, don't change your medication or, or regimen, whatever you're doing. If you receive this, take a deep breath and remember that it is not a diagnosis. Once you're settled and not freaking out, it's a good idea to talk to a healthcare provider. They can help you determine next steps and so forth. Here's tips. Write down your symptoms and concerns. Have a list of your medications handy, including your vitamins and supplements. Because if you end up getting prescribed meds for this condition, they need to know what the interactions might be. Get your insurance information ready to help your appointment go smoothly and possible other needs of using your insurance for medications that you might get. Just say it. Jot down any questions you have between now and your appointment. And then here's some helpful questions. What might cause it? Are there other possible causes? What types of tests will you need? Should you change your diet or exercise? Chronic conditions and what to do next. This is a new feature. I applaud Google and 
their subsidiary Fitbit for incorporating this technology into the device. And it's really nice to see that what they're doing is notifying you to contact your healthcare professional. But if you've watched TV and you know all the possible conditions that a person can be suffering from and that there's a drug to take care of it and they show up everywhere, I'm a little bit concerned. Obviously, we live in a world of big data and individual data, and it's tied to your medical records and your health conditions. And this infusion, this union of devices that can actually penetrate into your health at the moment and notify you of what's going on with your body temperature, your heart rate, your blood oxygen, your stress, your fatigue, your heart rate variability, and your ECG including heart wave rhythm and acquire that just I, I recommend you really in this one at least this time look into the Fitbit privacy policy and see if you're really comfortable with how your heart rhythm data will be uh, incorporated into the analysis that Google's going to be doing to provide you uniquely with a notification about your health. This is not big data where you're just going in with a million other people to see what the average of uh, the people in the world are in terms of AFib. This is identifying you individually and specifically and notifying you to seek um, consultation with a medical professional. Why people who already have the diagnosis are being excluded? I, I boggles my mind. I, I, anyway, I, I got a lot of conspiracy theories about it, but I really don't like going there without valid proof. So just be careful. If you don't have a Fitbit yet, yeah, you can get one using a link in the show notes down below. If you find this interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you use the link to buy your Fitbit, it helps us out here at the channel to keep informing you about things like this as they come up. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you again soon.